In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to set up your character rig for use with Faceware Retargeter. Because Retargeter doesn't inherently know anything about your rig, we need to teach it how to interact with the rig in your scene, which is the purpose of creating the character setup file. I'm using the Victor rig that's available for download on our website, but the beauty of Retargeter is that it works with just about any rig available, be it blend shapes, joints, or whatever. Uh, in 3D Studio Max, biped rigs are not supported at this time, but that's about it. You'll also notice that I'm working with Maya right now, but the character setup process is identical for all supported Autodesk animation packages. I have the Retargeter plugin open already with a clean scene, so I'm going to go to the Advanced menu in the plugin and select Character Setup. This opens up the separate Character Setup dialog box. To get started, we're first going to select File and New. This will create the basis of our new Character Setup file. The first thing we're going to do is name our character. The character name is really only important if you're using shared poses, but it's a good habit to get into to name it appropriately each time you create a new character setup file. So I will name this one Victor. You can see here in the face groups box that when we hit file new, it became populated with several face groups. For now, we're going to ignore the head group as it functions slightly differently than the others. If you're interested in including head movement, you can find that in a separate tutorial. I'm going to delete the head group for the sake of cleanliness, but you can just leave it in and not use it if you prefer. The other groups correspond directly to the groups in Analyzer, eyes, brows, and mouth. In Retargeter, you animate on each group separately using the data from your .fwr performance file generated in Analyzer. What we're going to do now is associate the controls on your rig with the appropriate group to make that possible. You can work in any order you like, so we'll start with the eyes group. In our scene, I'm going to select all of the controls that drive the eyes. So we've got the lids and the eye direction controls. And back in character setup, I'll go down to the rig controls section and press the rig controls button. This will open up a small window and I'll hit update. Now the list will be populated with all of the valid controls that have been selected in the scene. Since I know these are all eye controls, I can select all of them and press Add Selected. If you have more than you need, you can select them individually and hit Add Selected. Close that. Now looking down here at the Rig Controls window, you can see that all the controls we selected are now in the list. What we're doing is associating each of the controls with a particular face group. Since Retarger is able to work with almost any rig, you need to tell it the particulars of your rig, which is what we're doing now. Right now, I need to set the default values of each control. By default, I mean the control value for a neutral position on that control. Our rig is in its default neutral position right now, so I can just select all of the controls and press the Set to Default Value button. You can see that some of the values have changed, but some of them are defaulted to zero, which is fine. So Retargeter now knows that these controls are associated with the eyes group and will animate on them accordingly during the retargeting process. I'm going to quickly do the same for the brows and mouth. I'm doing this pretty quick for demonstration purposes, but you'll want to take a little longer and make sure that you have all the controls that you need for a given group. If you want to add controls later, either because your rig has changed or you forgot one on the first pass, you can simply load your character setup file with the file and load and add them in exactly the same manner. So there are a couple things to note related to character setup. The first is that you cannot have the same control in multiple rig groups. If you try to add a control that's already in another group, the software will actually pull up a prompt and prevent that behavior. The other thing is that the character setup file that you're creating is specific to the rig that you create it with. If the controls change, you'll have to modify your character setup file accordingly. That includes any name changes on controls, as that's the only way a retargeter can identify which control is which. If you try to load a character setup file for a rig that's different than what's specified, either in character setup or when opening a performance, you'll get an error message. Set to default. Now I have all my groups and their appropriate controls, and we are good to go. The last thing is to save it out by going to File, Save As, put it here. Victor demo, hit enter. The setup data now exists in XML form and can be used when opening performance in Retargeter.